Hello there everyone, my name's Pikachu and welcome to Deke Home Video Killers. Or is it Deke Home Entertainment Killers? Yeah, that title. So basically, in this series, I take a look at a specific Deke Entertainment show on DVD. And uh, yeah, and I basically riff on it. So how about we take a look by looking at one awful show. Yep. Super Duper Sumos, Basho Crusho Sumos DVD, and here I'll take a look at the very first episode on this. Binky did a bad, bad thing. So, uh, let's put it in the DVD player and I'll do it. Here I go. So, here we begin. Here's the intro, and how about I tell you a little bit about this series. So, so this is a show produced by Deke Entertainment in 2001. It was, um, alongside Alienators Evolution Continues, this was the first um, show um, they made after they purchased themselves out from Disney the previous year, even though it was announced during the Disney era. So it's about these three fat sumo wrestlers. Mam Mamu, who's the brown one. And Kimo, who you'll see, you'll see, you'll, he'll speak funny. And of course, Boomer, who has blue pants and always talks about his butt. And then there's Prima and Wisdom San. So yeah, this is the first episode Binky did a bad, bad thing. So yeah, the series originally aired on CBBC in 2001 and then eventually aired on Pop in the UK. Didn't air in the US until 2002 where it aired on Nickelodeon. So the first person who talks in this series is of Mamu and then Boomer is next. So, the thing is, is that, um, they talk about butts too often and there's a lot of twerking as well. So yeah, that's Kimo, the one who has that spiky hair and wears red pants. Uh, that's already three mentions of the word butt in this episode, maybe four. Maybe I could show off my butt to everyone. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I can't twerk like they can. Yeah. Yeah. Smelling your armpits. Disgusting for a kid's show. You know, for kids. And you said this was a sport? Yeah, pretty darn fabulous, don't you think? Well, at least Prima's mature, and she's a bit like... And in this episode, she's like Penny from Inspector Gadget. So now we're introduced to the villains. Miss Mister and Billy Swift. Yes, B.S. You know, for kids, they have to nickname him BS because that stands for a certain profane word, which is bull. Yeah. Miss Mister's so generic, and she's just a I'm gonna destroy the world because I'm evil villain. Yep, she's a cliched one. Here's Dr. Stinger. And in this one, what's he's going to do? Well, you're going to have to see. Stinger! 
Plan B. Plan B. What was Plan B? Never explained. That is Binky. And um, what is the bad, bad thing he's gonna do? Well, he's just a plush toy right this moment. And it even has a pull string in it, like with the toy woodies. Boomer just gets the toy right out. Whoever she is. Love lady, what? Honestly, that's just Boomer's butt. But if it's a jig, you want my butt's a great dancer. Why can't I just be more like was about to butt bounce her. Then here's the flashback sequence, which wasn't even needed in this episode. It's just there for filler. It, this is just going to be filler. Ugh. So then there's this white sumo wrestler. And then there's Boomer. In which... Uh, what's his name again? Uh... Um, is it, uh, Wisdom Sam, I think his name is. At long last, you fall sumos! Bump! Now it's just free. Oh, you suck, Boomer. No matter why you talk about butts all the time. So there they are, they train. Way of the fat. Oh, speaking of fat, would you like to know what each wrestler is fighting for? So Boomer fights for peace, Kimo fights for honor, and Mamo fights for truth. That talks about talkative. So, what's Dr. Stinger gonna do? Well, he's turning Bingy into... Well, we'll see. Here I am. It's about time. I hope the wait will be worth it. Behold my newest monster of mayhem, Bruce and God. Well, it turns out that he turns... Like, I'm guessing he turns Binky into a monster. And I'm right. Binky is a monster now. I give you... Binky! Teddy bear of terror! I'm all controlled by yours too. Oh. Mental note, fire stinger. Now there's Genghis, that ghostly empty. My finger seems to have slipped on the control. Wait, there's something about this idea. Ooh, I see a great merchandising tie-in, a toy line, lunch boxes, ooh, trading cards. This is just weird. I like the sound of that. Let loose Binky! And now, like with every generic villain of the week I've seen, he's going to destroy the town of Generic City. Like, why would they call a town Generic City? Maybe because it is generic, and why they call a company Bad Ink, because they are a bad company. Sort of generic lampshading, if you'd ask me. Then we go back to the sumos, and all, or more or less, 
wisdom san or something. There we are. Well, the sumos are eating to make their butt bigger, I guess. But the landlady raised the rent again, and they'd be in their food allowance for the next six months. They need more money. Well, that's not going to be good. Well, it seems like they can't use money as well as what we think. And then ready to see how brain dead these three wrestlers are. Well, they're stupid enough because they are riding those things and they're too fast and they're causing a big traffic jam. Wow, those car models look awful. <laughs> then the military tries and hits them and they fail and destroy and they think he tries to destroy the military. Successful for badding. Oh, that's a nice thing. Well, here's the running gag. He always gets fired in every episode as a pointless running gag in the Bob. And yes, this shows how stupid those wrestlers are. Well, they think that Binky is cute, but you'll just have to see what happens. Not really. How dare they? You don't make a child's toy into a monster. The kind of toy you hug and run to when you just got a big boo boo. More filler. I don't care about listening to your garbage. I'm I'm already getting bored with this. They just talk too much. Temper tantrum. Yep, he's the most mature out of the group in this series. Don't worry. I'm the defender of peace. Let me talk to him. Well, guess what happens to Boomer. Well, they're going to get beaten up too. Yep, I was right. They're getting beaten up. So guess what this means? Come on, I want you, I want you to take a wild freaking guess. Time to sumo size. Let the fat be one. Yes, I'm right. They're going to power up. Because every show like this has to have a, something like that. Because it's a cliche formula. And now let's see if they can beat the living snot out of that binky monster. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yes, because he has to wiggle his butt. Rip! 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 There we are, they're transformed. Bob and kicked. 
Well, they're just beating the snot out of Binky. Like a... Well, you can guess. Binky's defeated, well... Well, you'll just have to see what happens next. They think they're done with Binky for good or so, but so they think. And with their bots, that's how they downgrade. Well, as I said, so they think they saved the city. Then, then the military have them or the police. Well, at least they try to explain. Then... Saving the city for free. Well, most superheroes save the city for free and not for the money, so... That's another cliché formula in this show. Then Boomer has to twerk in front of us. Forget Teen Titans Go, this has a lot more twerking in that show. And I, and I don't mean breadwinners either, or breadwinners or whatever the heck that show is. So they drink out of an utter of whatever that is then it's all dried up and disappears mm, well actually it doesn't, it shakes it then they're more fatter than ever before peace Honor! You are True. Trying to destroy the fly. Yeah. And then Boomer has the fly. Oh, he eats it. Yuck. And he's... And he's hey, still dreaming she about the flow to this day. She left about an hour ago. Oh, and she said you guys can fight all the monsters you want, just as long as you do it for free. And they all drone out and blah, blah, blah. That's how boring they really are. They just are complete chatterboxes. And then Binky is unleashed again. Controlled by him. That guy. Forget whatever his name is. Time to sumo side. Then they sumo size again to defeat Boomer. Oh, yeah, Binky, not Boomer. Binky, 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 Binky. I keep forgetting their names because I can't remember very well. Can Mamu, Kimo, and Boomer defeat Binky? Well, I don't think so. Well, they're getting their butts beaten. And then there was a bit of stock footage seen in the intro. Talking to his bottom. Then, ready? Well, he's destroying the city more often. And thanks to Prima, 
But the truth is, we can well, they end up. I've almost got it. Seems like the sumos are like Inspector Gadget and Prima's like Penny. Except there's no brain. So here's another. That's another thing they ripped off. Especially in a show the same company produces. So, now Binky's useless, so with their bots, they pretty much keep living snot out of it again. And for good this time, I guess. And... BOOM! Ripped. And then they transform back. And then the mayor, mayor give them this medal. Because they want to fight all the monsters for free. Uh, in courtesy of the mayor of Generic City. And, generic city. and the beach bag wants them for all. Reminds me of the day we graduated from sumo training. It happened many years ago. And then here comes another stupid flashback sequence where everyone's just going to leave after a while because they talk too much and yet the wrestlers never notice. And guess what happens? I mean it. Guess what happens next? Uh, those boys. Come on. Yep. <laughs> Boomer destroys pretty much everything. <laughs> because of how much of a doofus he really is. Then he kicks them out. Then everyone leaves. They went home about an hour ago. Oh, and the mayor left a bill for your medals. Oh, and according to what I've read here, these pointless flashback sequences are in almost every episode. Alongside the fact Boomer always talks about his butt. And well, that's the end of the, of the episode. Overall, that was horrible to watch. Like, I don't like the butt jokes, I don't like the twerking, I don't like the wrestlers smelling their armpits because it's disgusting. And most of all, it's just plain boring. Those flashback scenes were completely pointless and they could have been in their own episode, but no, they have to be in all the episodes. Ugh. They were right. This show sucks. And I'm out of here before anything else bad happens. Bye! They got guts! And butts. Super, super, super.